Hello, dear greetings of the day from Almighty Consulting Solutions Private Limited. Today, we are going to have a basic tool to our hospitalization module, or we can say that inpatient management system. This is one of the module of our HMS system where we have a uh, different modules for managing hospital flows. So to have hospitalization flow in your system, you have to install this module. Once you install this module, you will able to see this new icon in your system of hospitalization. So once this module is installed, we can go inside this and you will able to see that, okay, you have a different icons uh, and menus related to this hospitalization. These are the basic menus for managing hospitalization of the patient or we can say inpatient. So uh, over here in the first menu, we will be able to see all the hospitalizations whichever are active or uh, completed in the past. Before going in deep for this flow, let's go through the basic configuration and related menus which we have over here. So first menu is uh, under configuration is that uh, surgery template and the care plan templates. So in the surgery templates, you can configure all your uh, surgery templates whichever you are performing uh, normal surgeries which you are performing in your hospital very commonly so let's say that a head transplant is one of the common surgery which you perform in your aesthetic hospital so over here we can set the code and head transplant product which will be the product ultimate product which will be charged to the patient we can set the charges and related stuff over there and here we have that consumables and medication plan and related information and this chart summary also we have so this is a basic configuration and related information so once we configure this template we can save the time by uh, avoiding entering this uh, same information on each and every surgery same way we have a care plan template also so we can define different care plan templates and based on this care plan template we can configure it on the hospitalization and related information can be shared with the relevant users then we have a hospital building and operation theaters menu where we can manage if we have a multiple buildings in our uh, hospital premise we can configure it over here for information purpose and operation theaters so if we have multiple operation theaters in our hospital we can manage it over here and then the next menu is the checklist so to manage flow efficiently and easily of hospitalization we have these two different checklist admission checklist and pre-watch checklist in the admission checklist we can define like uh, if we have a uh, to sign any documents from the patient and their relatives if we have to prepare any new files and related information then all this kind of checklist can be pre-configured over here based on the need you can create new one or update the existing one also and when we are hospitalizing any patient that will be there on the checklist then we have a pre-watch checklist also same way as admission checklist before hospitalizing the patient in the ward we can have this uh, checklist so uh, we can make the procedure very easy okay then let's uh, once we have completed all this configuration we have another important respect of the system is that uh, wards and the rooms so we can configure all the wards or rooms whichever we have available in our hospital over here we can have a general ward special ward or uh, special rooms also and over here we can mention the different facilities so we have defined a few wards over here and in each and every ward we have a specific beds available over there okay uh, from here we will be able to see all the beds whichever we have available in our system for the demo purpose we have created few uh, green means that it is available and not allocated to any patient and over here it shows that this bed is already allocated to one patient and patient name is Nita Kesha. okay we have different uh, colors icons also for the beds like if it is reserved or we can say they're occupied or out of service it will be in gray state so different options are there we can configure invoicing policy and related stuff over here on the bid part itself it will be very easy for uh, representatives when they are allocating any bid to any patient from here they will be able to see it very easily that okay which bids are available and which bids are already consumed or which bids are not available if there is any inquiry like uh, which patient is available in which bid so they will be able to see it from here very easily so these are the basic configurations which we need to have in our hospitalization module before we start out.
using it so once we have these all the configurations done we can uh, have a hospitalization flow let's uh, hospitalize one patient all these are the already completed hospitalization so we create one hospitalization over here for let's say that John Peter okay and uh, we hospitalize this patient on this date and we have primary surgeon is Lakshmi Patil and let's assign one specific bed to them general ward and GB1 and GB2 okay so we have a valuable bed is GB1 general bed 1 now we have this whole basic information like patient relative name and information so in case of emergency we can contact them if there is any specific disease we can configure or set it over here so it will be very easy to find out that for which uh, purpose that patient is hospitalized then as we configure the checklist all checklists are available over here these are not mandatory to complete but it will be good to complete all the checklist so let's say that this checklist is completed information is given to the patient relatives file is prepared so once we complete any checklist this will be showing the completion percentage same for the pre work checklist also so this is not a mandatory stuff but it will be helpful if we complete all the checklist to make the process smooth okay uh, then let's confirm this hospitalization and we hospitalize the patient so once this patient is hospitalized if we go to the beds and check that bed will be in the red that means it is hospitalized this patient is already hospitalized over there and this bed is occupied okay, we go back in the hospitalization and uh, we we can assign any specific care plan and we can assign the primary nurse also if we wish okay then if there are any ward happening any nurse ward rounds that can be mentioned over here whenever any nurse is doing a ward round that will be created over here if any physician ward round happens that will be mentioned over here with the basic details and we can charge it to the patient also in later okay in the final invoice that will be charged then we have another field over here which is consumed products or services so during hospitalization if we are providing any medications to the patient from our stock that will be listed over here and that will be charged to the patient in the final invoice once we complete hospitalization the stock will related stock will be also deducted in our stock or warehouse okay uh, during hospitalization we can transfer the patient from one bed to another bed also like if this patient is hospitalized over here and if they want to change the ward or room that can be also done then we have a ip medicine request option so during hospitalization if doctor is requesting any medication that can be clicked over here and they can create a new medication to save the time we have already gone through this uh, uh, prescription flow so i am not spending more time over here we can just uh, set the medication whatever they want to set and uh, over here when we new option we have that print in the discharge if we want to print these details in the discharge summary report we can activate this option and that will be printed okay and let's confirm this so one medic uh, ip medicine request is generated same way we can have a pathology request also we have a separate video for the laboratory so again i am not going in deep for the all the steps over here just i am completing this request okay let's say that this result is generated i am not entering more details and over here also we have another option that we can print in the discharge report so when we are creating a final discharge summary report that will be helpful to have all the medications what we have proceeded on the patient and related information can be there okay so we created this and during hospitalization if any surgery was needed so such a surgeries can be also created from here itself now we can use existing template or create the new surgery based on the need so over here let's select a template which we already have to save the time we can have all information basic information like surgeon and dates and information as you can see that pre-operative checklist already configured from the template itself and uh, we have this medication information also from the template itself so it saves the time of the doctor because normally in each and every surgery there will be common uh, consumables will be used for the specific type of surgery so if there is any change they can update it manually also but by default it will preload all information from the template itself 
in the discharge summary also you have a basic information whatever was configured on the template is there okay let's imagine that the surgery is completed and we complete set the surgeon and complete the surgery we are not going in deep for this flow just we are completing the surgery so let's say that we had this surgery one ip medicine request one pathology request and related flow now uh, we have another feature over here when that patient is hospitalized we will able to see that uh, what is existing due for the patient so over here you can see that invoice forecast where you will able to see that this how much is payable from the patient end still this final invoice is not created yet but this is a forecast of this hospitalization so you can take advance based on this from the patient to cover uh, payments from the patient in advance okay so this is one of the base feature we have currently and then uh, let's say that the hospitalization is completed uh, you can mention that discharge summary is over here whatever we have and once everything is mentioned that the finally patient will be discharged once that this is secured or purpose is completed and over here i missed one thing that it is uh, legal details if that any legal case have been filed then uh, inform related information can be entered over here okay so let's say that uh, we completed this uh, hospitalization flow and just we discharge the patient so we discharge the patient and we create a final invoice so we click on this create invoice button and new invoice will be created let's say that this invoice is created and we check it so it is almost same amount which we had over here you can see that uh, one line is there for the consumable products then we have accommodation charges physical ward down charges and surgery charges are there so all the charges are properly mentioned over here with different section so patient can understand very easily this further flow of the invoicing will be completed by validating invoice and registering a payment but this is a basic flow how we manage hospitalization once uh, final invoice is generated and everything is fine we mark this in hospitalization as a done and everything will be in the read only state if you have any other questions or query for us you can contact us on our website or any other official channel have a great day thank you